Good morning. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You're good. She <laughs> stayed up. We, yeah, we didn't, just didn't go to sleep. We just stayed up. So what are we doing this morning? We're going to... I'm excited. We're going to count, do the count of homeless people. Uh, ooh, 328. Oh, thank you. I got it. Thanks. These are the roots. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So that's Golden Hill. That, that's, that's my hopper. You got it? Okay. That's me, right there. <laughs> You'll be the guy. I'm the, I'm the driver. Actually, you're going to go right by where my tent is, where my girlfriend is sleeping still. <laughs> we're, we're just like counting uh, the people or, and uh, structures that uh, possibly have uh, homeless folks in it and also abandoned vehicles. And yeah, 11th and Broadway. Two, three, four, five. Ooh, seven. Over here. I know Tom and Jane over here. The first ten is Eric, but a good, nice friend of mine. Yeah, that's right. For for structure. Very good. Yeah, that's my ten. <laughs> I'm gonna check on my girlfriend. Ginger. 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 You okay? How come you don't answer? Hey, would some guy come by here on a bike? Yeah, they did. Dennis told me. Probably looking to rip stuff off. I gotta go. But listen, I'm going now to pick my, my bike up. I'll be back. I'll tell you when I come back. I won't, I won't just open it, okay? Okay, lock it up. Go back to sleep, you know. Where'd they go? There's two structures under the... I don't know. It looks like just clothes. Coffee and donuts, Dennis. So what do we do next? What? Yeah, this is real, we're just tallying everything. Yeah. Okay, 41 people, 61. Structure. That's a lot. Thank you very much. I think when they come out with the final total count, it's probably going to be pretty precise. It was cold. <laughs> it was fun and it's a, needed, a thing that needs to be done. All right, Jeff. This gentleman at the far end. Yeah. Tony. Kevin. Nice Kevin, to meet you. nice to meet you. And what's this interview for? To better understand housing situations and to help oh. provide better services. Oh, great. Um, where did you sleep last Thursday night? What's your primary race? Which gender identity do you most identify with? Are you a survivor of domestic violence? Yes. Do you receive any social security income? No. Are you currently employed or attending school? No. How long ago were you last employed or in school? Three years ago. When did you become homeless this time? How many times have you been homeless in the past three years? It was continuous. How old were you when you first became homeless? Fifty-five. What was the primary cause of your homelessness? Illness. There was a lot of causes, but that was the... Did you become homeless in San Diego County? Yes. Are you currently accessing any of the following services in the community? Emergency shelter? Mm. How about bus passes? I tried and they no, you have to have a doctor's appointment. You only get a day. How about transitional housing? I've applied and haven't received any um, okay. information back. Mental health? I've, I've been through the mental health system a, a couple of years ago, and I'm, I'm making appointments now again for that. Okay. How about alcohol drug counseling? No. How about a drop-in day shelter? Um, free meals? Oh, yes. Legal assistance? Once. Immigration? Uh, health services? A lot. What services would assist you in securing stable housing? Now I just took this Bidat test and I'm waiting to see what to do next. I don't know. How about a rental subsidy? Well, I have no income, so it'd have to be more than that. How about deposit money? Yeah. Uh, utility costs? Like sure, care? sure, all that would be helpful. Family support? What's preventing you from staying in a shelter? I've been there before. I've okay. been there a couple of times. Uh -huh. <clears throat> They've lost my things twice. All my possessions they lost. To get in, you have to get rid of everything you own. I wouldn't be able to be with my girlfriend there and the dog. We have a dog too. I would only get um, 45 days and that's, that's not enough for me to get my life together because right. there's other rules there that keep me from meeting appointments. I mean, you have to work three days a week, four hours a day, and there's staggered times. So to make an appointment would be very difficult. You know, and if somebody just off the street and all this stuff coming at you, rules, regulations, and right. working hours, and it's overwhelming. Now the tent was different. The tent was helpful to me. I was there and it was good because you can go and come as you please. You can take care of your business and there's no rules really. I mean, not that I don't like rules, but 
um, there was were a little excessive. Do you need help to reconnect with family, friends, or any support system? Have you ever served on active duty in the U.S. Armed Forces? Do you have a physical disability? Do you have a, de a developmental disability? A chronic health condition? Are you living with HIV, AIDS? Do you have any mental health issues? Just depression and anxiety, you know, from the streets. Do you feel you have an impairment caused by alcohol? No. Do you feel you have an impairment caused by drug abuse? No. Have you ever been in jail, prison, or juvenile hall? Yeah. When were you last released from jail? Four months ago. Are you currently on probation? Yes. Are you currently on parole? No. And this is for you? Is oh, great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and thanks so much for coming in. Wow, those are intense questions. <laughs>